Julie Thaler recovered from COVID-19, so it's believed she developed antibodies, proteins that can fight the infection. Those antibodies are found in the plasma in her blood. I'm hoping that I can help people. She's donating her plasma to Mount Sinai Health System for what's called convalescent plasma therapy. It's been used to kickstart a person's immune system as far back as the 1918 Spanish influenza, measles, and more recently SARS and even Ebola. Mount Sinai has already transfused similar such donations to 53 COVID patients. President Dr. David Rich says less than half of the patients needed 10 more days of hospital care. It's an experiment seeing. If this shortens the length of hospital stay or decreases complications or uh, it'd be very hard to see if it lowers mortality rate. We give it within four days of hospital admission to those people who are not doing well. In New Jersey, Saturday medical staff at the Valley Hospital in Ridgewood proudly administered its first dose to a patient and since distributed to six more. Dr. Neil Gaffin is head of infectious disease. There's not a lot of it and it also has to be matched uh, with uh, blood types. So the good news uh, is that one donor can actually potentially treat uh, up to four patients. Hackensack Meridian Health has tried it on four patients. Northwell Health plans to administer the first units by Wednesday or Thursday. Dr. Kevin Tracy is the president and CEO of the system's Feinstein Institute for Medical Research. There's a dangerous assumption that this that this will be beneficial. We don't know the optimal time uh, for the plasma to be donated. Is it better to have plasma a week after the illness, a month? Dr. Tracy says it will take months to see if the risks outweigh the benefits. Meantime, hospitals nationwide using the therapy have registered with the Mayo Clinic so their results can be tracked. I'm Lisa Rosner reporting for CBS2 News.